Hard floor coverings have a big impact on the appearance of a building. Architects take great care to specify coverings that match interior decor and help achieve the desired ambiance for any space. Hard floor coverings are also a significant investment. They can often be the most expensive single item in a building. So when it comes to cleaning them, we have to get it right. Here at Jangro, we recommend a three-step approach to floor care. One, prepare. Two, protect. And then three, maintain. When a hard floor covering is new, we need to prepare it by getting the surface as clean as possible before we go on to protect it. This includes sweeping to remove any debris and rubbish, and then wet mopping or vacuuming to remove any dust. For an existing hard floor, preparation normally means stripping off the worn-out seals. Machine stripping is a popular and economical method of preparing large areas. Firstly, we attach a drive board to the base, and then we attach stripping grade pads to the machine. Then we apply Jangro floor polish remover with a mop and bucket and leave for a few minutes. Leave the solution for five minutes to soften the polish, then machine strip the area until all polish is removed. Additional solution can be applied using the machine. Edges should be stripped using a black pad attached to an edging tool, like this. Remove the slurry with a wet pickup vacuum or mop. To ensure that the polish adheres to the surface, we must now neutralize the floor. This is done by adding one capful of vinegar to a five litre bucket of water and mopping the floor and then allowing to dry. To protect, we use a seal, a semi-permanent protective layer that is suitable for the type of floor covering. Semi-permanent means it can last for several years before it needs to be stripped and reapplied. Suitable means it must stick to each particular surface but be able to be stripped without damaging it. With some resilient flooring like vinyl, a floor seal can be unnecessary and the direct application of a polish will suffice. There's a range of Jangro seals that can be used depending on the type of floor, environment and wear. After we've ensured the floor is clean and dry, pour undiluted floor seal into a bucket or tray. Apply the first coat thinly and evenly over the floor, always working in a straight direction from one side of the room to the other, bearing in mind that the second coat should be applied at a right angle to the first. Always leave a 10 centimeter gap from the skirting on this coat to avoid a buildup of seal or polish. Then leave to dry, which can take as little as 30 minutes for a water-based seal, but over several hours for solvent-based product. Then apply the second coat thinly and evenly, normally at right angles to the first coat. Ensure that this coat is applied right up to the skirting and then leave to dry. Always read the instructions and refer to the product usage guide as some specialist seals such as Sovereign Total Floor Treatment require the second coat to be applied in the same direction as the first. There are different types of seal, and generally speaking, we use solvent-based seals for wood and wood composite floors, which are damaged by water, and water-based seals for thermoplastic, vinyl, lino, rubber and asphalt, which are damaged by solvents. These seals create a resilient layer that protects the floor from solids such as dirt, food and liquid spillages, stains such as drinks and chemicals, and scuffs and abrasions. Seals also enhance the appearance of floor coverings and increase their useful life whilst decreasing the cost of maintenance. 
Seals have strong chemical resistance properties. This means that staining agents which can penetrate a surface polish will remain on top of a seal. This allows for better and longer term protection. Once a floor is successfully sealed, it normally requires the application of a polish to achieve a high gloss or satin finish. Polishes are emulsion or water-based coatings that are easily removed and reapplied to keep any floor looking its best. The idea is that the polished surface takes the majority of the wear and tear, not the floor itself, which is important considering that floors are normally subject to the highest level of wear and tear in a building. They can get incredibly dirty. 80% of soil entering a building does so on people's shoes, and although some can be caught at entrances with mats, a lot still gets inside. Now we need to maintain our floor. There are three major ways of maintaining a floor. Firstly, we can spray and buff the floor. This will improve gloss, durability and slip resistance, and also minimize the need to reapply the polish. To begin, fill a trigger spray bottle with the product at the recommended dilution. Jangro Perfumed or Enviro Floor Maintainer or Sovereign Gloss Restorer are ideal maintainers. Fix a red buffing pad to the rotary machine. Spray a fine mist onto the floor approximately one meter in front of the machine and buff the floor to obtain the required finish. This method is ideal for cleaning and maintaining light to medium soiled floors. Swap to a blue floor pad if scuff marks need to be removed. The second way to maintain a polished floor is to use a mop and bucket. If Jangro Neutral Floor Cleaner or Sovereign Universal Floor Cleaner is used, it will avoid a polymer buildup on the floor. Depending on the size and type of floor surface and the work environment, a range of mopping systems are available. Typically, a standard mop bucket and socket mop is suitable for smaller areas. whereas a Kentucky mop bucket and wringer is best for more sizable areas. Flat mop systems provide a damp, rather than wet, mopping solution for areas where overwetting may damage a water-sensitive surface or represent a significant safety risk. Finally, enter the wonderful world of the floor scrubber dryer. They automatically dispense cleaning solution onto a brush or cleaning pad, which scrubs the floor surface clean and then vacuums it dry. They will clean the dirtiest of floors regardless of size, leaving a clean and instantly dry surface underfoot. Only low foam cleaning chemicals should be used, such as Jangro floor scrubber dryer solution. To conclude, a word about a surface that is notoriously difficult to clean, non-slip safety flooring. It's becoming increasingly popular due to obvious safety benefits, but its abrasive surface and porous nature means it grabs and holds ingrained dirt. An alkali cleaning solution is necessary to successfully clean this sort of flooring. Use Jangro scrubber dryer power when using floor cleaning machines, such as a rotary scrubber and wet vac or scrubber dryer. When manually cleaning safety flooring, the most effective option is to mop on a solution of Jangro Heavy Duty Kitchen Degreaser and loosen the dirt with a stiff fibre deck scrub or agitate with an abrasive pad fitted to an edging tool. Then rinse the floor with clean water. Lovely job.